Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a like recently purchased video. So these are just items that I have like recently purchased or like I say received. Some of them I got like like little presents, but most of them are just stuff that I got. Just so my my boy, my man's is watching football over there, so he 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 a little loud. Okay, so these are just items that I've recently purchased, and I was like, any content. <laughs> so <laughs> let me just show you guys the stuff that like I have gotten. Obviously, this isn't bragging or anything like that. This is literally just for fun because even me, I enjoy watching these because like it just it's fun to me. Do you, do you guys even watch the luxury ones, bro? The people that living in Dubai, they have like. That 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 can be big boy stuff. Those are real people. Like I'm like what? And I love these types of videos. So, so let's just get straight into this. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys are these um the kind of mash up the cases. Vintage, vintage Gucci glasses. They're not really sunglasses, but they're sunglasses. I got it from the break, so I'll have the link to their website um at the bottom here. They kind of go around different places. They kind of they have like little pop ups, um, sh like having little cute vintage stuff. So I saw like Chanel, like little mini Chanel, like um, pearl thingies and like some Gucci vintage Gucci bags and stuff like that. So yeah, and I'm absolutely obsessed with these glasses. Let me just try them on quickly. I'm not gonna put them in my ear probably, but I feel like they're so so cute and so pretty. And you know how vintage is like in right now, and I don't know. And I feel like the yellow slash orangey under tints, let me come a bit closer. It's just so cute. And like they have a 90 day, this isn't sponsored, none of this is sponsored by the way, I'm just trying to like explain where I got this from. But they have like a 90 day return and all their products are authenticated. I forgot how they explained this, but if you go on the website, it'll probably be in their bio or if you ever like see them around, you just ask. And yeah, but like, Guys, this is so cute. I might even leave it on my head. Oh, am I giving? Who am I giving? Ashanti? Am I really giving Ashanti? So these are the first items that I have recently received. Or I recently purchased. I actually got, the pop-up shop was an Urban Outfitter, so that's why I actually found what I got mine. Okay, so my next purchase is this Louis Vuitton bracelet. It's this Louis Vuitton confidential bracelet and it's in monogram brown. So what it is is that I want to obviously start stacking them, but this is what I get for nail. I'm still a uni student and I'm still broke. But um so it doesn't have Louis Vuitton on the actual um rim or I can't speak in oh, guys on the rim right this guys this is literally how you can tell that I'm a fresh person so we're not gonna judge we don't judge here but it does have LV on the little gold part and you literally just unclip it by selecting the center and you open it. And let me just put it on for you guys so you guys can see what it actually looks like. Okay, so I got a size 17 or was it 19? I got a size that's a tad bit. Okay, so I got a size um, 19. I was supposed to get a size 17 so that would be a little bit more tight, do you know what I mean? But it's okay. I feel like if I get another one that's a bit tighter here or I wear a watch, it won't slip down so it's not that deep. I know my jewelry is silver and this is gold, but it doesn't matter right now. But yeah, I just think like, oh, yeah, do you, did you want me to go to the, to the African? Mommy, you want me to go to the African shop to come buy meats? Or oh, you want to meet? Do you really think I can go to the African shop wearing this on my hand, mother? No, I'm joking. Anyways, I'm, I'm actually playing. This is, I'm just being extra. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And I just thought it's really cute. Loki, I've had, I feel like I can't wear it unless I have like something else with it because it feels a bit base. Like, I don't know. On its own, it's just like not giving what it's supposed to give. But it's still cute and I haven't really worn it anywhere. So the next piece that I've recently got is, woo! can you guys guess what it is? Like obviously from the back, I don't know if it's opposite way around, but it's this cute hat. 
I know, I know, I know the whole of the UK out there. I've seen so many fucking memes on TikTok. But I'm not really, okay, let me just say something real quick. We live in a generation where everybody kind of follows trends. People look at other people for inspiration, but then some people see us copying, some people see us this, everyone's wearing this. Like, it's quite toxic, in my opinion, the generation that I feel like I live in. To the point where it's like, oh, I don't want to get this because I just feel like everybody um, has it and they're gonna be like, oh, you're just wearing it because everyone has it when I just got it because I genuinely liked it. But we live in a world where like people can't just see you and be like, oh, that's cute. They see you and they judge and they're like, oh, either who does she think she is or like, is it like, um, or he, who does he think he is? Or it's like, oh, everyone has that. Or like, oh, this is so 2020. Or this is so old. Like, I, obviously, I'm not saying that I don't do that too. But there's obviously levels, and I feel like with our generation is just so overboard and so toxic. Or maybe it's just I don't know. But I don't. I really don't care. I, I genuinely want to get like if I if I was a rich person, I still would I just get things that I think is very cute and I just genuinely like. And it's just like that's how life. Should, like whatever you wear. Whatever, whether it's PLT, AliExpress, or um, House of IMGR, like whatever you wear, should be a representation of who you are. It doesn't matter the price, and it doesn't matter like the brand. It's just like as long as it's you and you're being authentic within yourself, and you look good, and you feel like you look good, and you walk with confidence. But that is it. That is that is it. But yeah. Anyways, let me not digress. So it's just this hat um, from Jackmus and I think it was just very cute and it's really a nice holiday edition. Let me see if I can, I have makeup on so I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm, it's a bit small. Sorry about that, mm, mm, sorry about that, mm, mm, um, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's a little small. I don't know. I don't wanna I don't want it to touch my makeup, so I'm not gonna put it down. But like yeah. <laughs> it's cute. It's this really nice material and there's like this really pink mini jackmus bag which I think it'll look so cute with. The Jackmus um logo is silver, so I just thought it would look really nice with silver jewelry if you were to accessorize it. And the pink is like a mixture of like hot pink and light pink. It's not as dark as it looks on camera, it's lighter than that, but it's still very cute. I don't know, and I like the little frill detailing. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I like the one that don't have it, but I think if I was gonna get that one that doesn't have the frills, it would be khaki. But this is still cute, and it has Jacquemus, Jacquemus or Jacquemese here. And it says made in Bulgaria. Do not bleach, do not tumble dry, do not iron. Ah, I can't iron this, do not dry clean. So then how are supposed to clean it? Hand wash. Oh, bringing it back. Oh, good thing my mama raised me right. Cause baby girl, I be hand washing this shit. Like, okay, oh cool. <laughs> okay, so that's done. Oh, let me put it back in the bag. Let me not be ghetto. So the next piece is. Off white donks. So these are the night and off-white rubber dunks, you and Z. Oh, I don't know, this is a size 3.5 or size 4. I don't know if they had a size 3. I don't remember what size I actually got. Let me quickly go. So wait, before we start, I got these on stock X because obviously when I can't get shoes, like let's say Yeezys for example, I try to win them, I don't win them. Just go on stock X and just buy them for resale, resale and just cry. I've never done that because I'm not paying that much money for Yeezys. But locally, locally, they're going down. People are not so fucking off the price anymore. Well, that's what I feel like. But um, yeah, so let me just quickly check what size I got. Guys, yes, I got it in a size 3.514, I don't know. So these are the rubber dunks, and I think they're one of my most favorite shoes ever because one thing about I love buying Jordan, well, I love saving Jordans. <laughs> 
I like Jordans, right? But so I don't like how they crease and I don't like the, how they have this whole connotation of Jordans creasing, Air Force creasing. <laughs> so I don't like, like wearing Jordans too much. But I like shoes that I can wear and they don't crease and that's like Yeezys and these Dunks. And Dunks and Yeezys, right? These shoes don't crease and I really, really enjoy that about them. Very, very sturdy, very heavy, heavy shoes. I really enjoy the detailing and I enjoy the colour. Now, here, this piece is coming off a little bit. It's coming off a little bit and it gets me a little bit scared. Ah, okay, that's the way it's supposed to be. I thought the white was rubbing off, but it's because it's on a different material. But yeah, it's, it's um, really nice, the blue and the orange. And I just like have some really cool fits with it. Oh my God, I have a really cool fit with it. Okay, cool. So yeah, and I just thought these are the cutest. And they have blue laces, but they also give you white lace with off-white. I don't know if I might do like one blue, one white, because I do that with like most of my shoes, because I don't know why. I just find that really fun um, and quirky. But yeah, this is them. You know you're fresh when you're about to take the that orange thing off your shoes, because that's what I was going to do, because I thought it was like... Good and take, but what, it's not you have to do this on there. You have to leave it under, guys. I'm so fresh. Just ignore my talking beforehand. Um, so yeah, these are one of my favorite, favorite shoes ever. And they come in this really cute box with like loads of holes. I think that just kind of represents the off-white and dunk. Like, I don't know. But yeah, these are just to die for, the darling. So yeah, these are nice. So you got that. So my next piece is So it's just these bottoms, I'm gonna, I'm planning on getting the red color, but obviously I feel like whenever I get certain things of a brand that I've never like bought from before or whatever, that's even with shoes and not shoes, like I would say bags, even though I don't do that, but my mentality does it, is I would get the black first. I saw the blue, me and my cousin love the blue, but I don't know if I would get the blue. I don't feel like I need that, but I really wanna get the red. For these revenge bottoms. They're kind of like windbreaker material, which I think is very different, but they don't feel cheap. So the band that's on the, let me just pull it up. So the band that's on the V right here is really, really sturdy and strong. It feels like the underwire that's usually in a bra. Um, I'm scared that it might move, but I actually don't think it's gonna move. I think it's sewn into, the bottoms itself obviously the top part isn't but like from there it's sewn in so it's not going to move and it has a lot of pockets so this is the front so you can kind of see and there's pockets here and oh i thought they had more pockets i think that's the new collection anyways and i just love it and i think it's so cute the bottoms have zip so you can zip it up and down too and like all in all the design is very different, it's very unique and I love that about about them, especially how it's like very low rise. There are a couple of dupes on PLT and I will put the, I'll put this one in the link, but then I'll also put the dupes in the link um, as well, so that like people have options or whatever. But I still think it's very cute and it has the front Ruben and then the front logo. I'm not going to lie, I would have preferred just the Ruben part without that France, France flag, like just like this. I would have really preferred it like that, but it came like this, so what can I do? I'm only a consumer, I'm not a designer. So that those are those bottoms and I thought they were just, just a darling, like an absolute doll. It's a little really. Coming up next, these beautiful, Beautiful, beautiful Jordans. These are my favorite ever Jordans in the world. Like, I have a couple of others, but these are like my favorite, favorite per ever purchases. 
me and my boyfriend were at um, Foot Locker and we were just looking around and he recently bought these Jordans that were like black and yellow or something, black and yellow, look at and they were like sold out everywhere and then the price jumped up by like 20 pounds i feel like reselling is dying thank god but it was still up by like 20 pounds we had a full car and sold the exact same shoe for retail and it was like what and he was like what <laughs> so yeah and then we we're just looking around like and they were full of was telling us about how they sell a lot of shoes like jordan's specifically actually like i've seen some dunks and stuff for retail price if you're lucky and you find them and i'm like really and they're like yeah you just have to follow us and then you kind of be updated on certain shoes but like obviously like i'm just i don't know i'm not a sneakerhead like that so it's not a thing where i need to follow them it's just if i go in and i see something cute i see something cute but these i saw in the store and i was like oh my gosh should i buy them and i was not gonna buy them because i just sometimes it hurts me spending money to be fair, they do have white laces in the box and I think I might stop it for white later. But I really do like the orange with the pastel, like who knew that would even work? But it looks so good. The texture of the pastel is like suede. It's not 100% suede, but it feels like suede. But then the, the, front part is still the typical Jordan um, leather material that creases. This hasn't really creased and I've worn it quite a few times. I've worn it like three times to uni. I feel like you should definitely wear shoes. I don't get people that buy shoes to never wear them. Unless you actually have nothing to wear with them but you just have them, like that's okay. But if you have fits to wear but you don't wear your shoes because you don't do the crease, that doesn't make sense to me. Air Jordan 1 Retro High. OG sneakers, grey and white, signature to Jordan logo, you know, round toe, front lace up, fastening, logo patch, flat rubber soles, so rubber soles, <laughs> contrasting panel details, like it's just a very good shoe, like out of all my trainers, besides the dunks, I think these are like number one, do you know what I mean, that's how serious I am, okay, so another piece that I got is this trap star um bodysuit so i purchased this on depop guys let me just tell you something about depop that is literally the place to go imgr depop jade of london sometimes when you can't afford the store depop loki people just be reducing the price by like five pounds but still depop like it's sustainable because like what people don't want rather than it getting thrown away you're just buying it and more time a lot of people on there wore it once and they realized they're too tall and like the girl like they're too tall and it just doesn't fit them or they're too short so they're just gonna sell they, they barely wore it a lot of people and they will have to set they sell it for cheaper and it's sustainable guys depop is and if you're looking for anything like just just go on depop okay but i'm gonna get the other shoes eventually so that i can finish off this fit for your inst my instagram so just stay following once again i'm nikki shaya so yeah, this is it and it has trap star on the side and the arm is like netted. This would be so hard when my hair is green. Yeah, it's gonna be hard when my hair is green because I was planning on getting green hair. But yeah, netted and it's just so cute. Okay, so the next piece I got from Collie. So it's this American like boutique, kind of gave PLT vibes kind of didn't and I feel like it's just this piece is just so cute and it's like the zebra piece if you know me you know that I'm a bit extra and I like things that are extra too you know so this zebra piece some people can say it's extra but I like it and it has this detailing on the side with the string so you can kind of pull it up and make it a bit more cropped and then it has like this silver um Silver, ch it's not a chain, but it's like this type of chain just for there, and it, it's quite low in the back, which I thought was quite cool. And it says Collie on the tag, and it's a size small. I will link the store in the description box, and they have a lot of cool, cool pieces. Because sometimes when you shop on PLT, Boohoo, Misguided, it's kind of not all the same, but it's kind of it can feel a little bit repetitive. And I wanted just to look at a store and be like refreshed by everything and that's what i felt like but it is from america so it did take a while to get here it took about five days 
maybe six. I think it took a week. It took a week, and that's a lot. But he, he's still cute though. So yeah, I just I just thought this piece was cute, and so then I got it. The last piece I got from Kali is this sexy dress, and it's this grey dress, and it has cutouts on the side, which is very very cool. I saw, and then it's like not asymmetrical, but once you get to the bottom. It has this like um, cut as if it's been cut, but then the material's been left out. And I just thought it was so cute, and the color was just so nice. And it's like a wool material, like a, not pajamas, but like a wool material, right? And I saw this girl on TikTok wear it, and she doesn't do nothing like fashion, she's just chilling, but she looked so good. But I'm not gonna lie to you, her titties sit up right. So they look good. It looked good on her because her body was full and I filled it out. I tried it on and I don't I didn't feel like it looked as good on me because I just wasn't filling it out. But then again, I'm, I've been going to gym, I'm trying to gain weight. So hopefully eventually it will fill out on me. But for now, this is what it's gonna look like. You feel me? Yeah. So I just thought it was cute though, and I just really really liked it. And once again, it's from Collie, and this isn't something you see on PLT or this guy did. Maybe it is. I haven't seen it, so yeah, I just thought it was nice. What do you guys think? And then last but not least, it's not yet. <laughs> last but not leastly. This really really cute like coat from PLT. I had it from my haul but I never put it in the haul because it just didn't fit the vibe. But I got it and it's like you guys if you know me once again my friends you know I love like long jackets. For me for me I'm a short person so I, I want it how I like long jackets. But I genuinely do and this is one of them and it's got padding on the shoulder and I got it in a size six and it's grey. And I just thought if I had like some Gucci or the Dior oblique sunglasses and my hair like that with this and some Dior, it like gives you all the vibe, that mature, elegant look. That's what I was kind of going for and I just thought this was cute. And I feel like only certain people can pull it off and the boots as well, like yeah, this is a vibe. And I just thought, <sighs> and you know what's funny, I have this but I don't own a jacket yet, like I need to buy a jacket. I've been eyeing one from Manoir de Bois, but like it's a bit like it's on a hundred and eighty pound, hundred eighty pound bracket. I'm trying to be smart with my money because Christmas is coming up, my birthday is coming up. So, but then again, it's winter. Winter's already here. Winter's coming. Game of Thrones fans, winter's coming. Winter's here. <laughs> winter's will never be here. That Game of Thrones madness. But um, yeah, this is cute. Literally everything that I've, I feel like was worth showing. I had other, st I've had other stuff too, but they were kind of like I didn't want to turn this into like a fashion haul. I didn't want to turn this into like a PLT haul or a branded haul. So I just got like little piece and bobs here and there. I just mainly wanted to kind of just show like little trinkets that I've been collecting, so that when I do post an Instagram with like full fits, like those sunglasses or the hat or the um, trap star top, because I literally. My stylist and myself have loads of really cool fits coming out. Not coming out, but like in our head. Like we're just trying to. Ah, I just can't. I'm not good at words. I'm a face person. But, um, <laughs> yes, that's everything. And I just really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, everything should be linked in the description box below. And if not, then there should be like alternatives or like, um, not dupes, but like a more affordable version. But like this was really a mixture of things that were like, and I know it might not be pricey too, but like pricey, mixed with like obviously PLT, like just different types of things. So yeah. But anyway guys, this is the end of the video and I genuinely, genuinely hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you know whenever I post a new video. And just like continue to comment. I'm going to start posting um, YouTube shorts. I'm going to start going on live. And I'm going to try and do the most of my YouTube. So I would really hope you guys like interact with me. If you are enjoying the stuff. So I kind of know what you guys like and what you guys don't like. But I just, I feel like I'm building my community now. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And have a great Sunday. Make yourself a cup of tea. Don't 
um, like have yourself a lovely bath or shower. Salt water, salt in the bath, you know, make it a bubble bath. Green tea, movie, clean skin. See you soon, guys. Bye. Don't